Hello again, thanks for subscribing or watching my videos. Um, I, um, let's see if I can get, there we go, that's better. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit about tennis ethics today. <clears throat> tennis is a different sport than most any other sports. In basketball, the crowd can cheer and yell and scream during the point, during the match, on a free throw, anytime. In football, the crowd can cheer and scream and yell and say anything they want during the match. No problem. During a field goal kick, during the throw, during the kickoff, anytime you can scream and yell. And just about any other match, any other sport, you can scream and yell all you want. There are two sports that I know of that it's just not um, acceptable. Tennis is one of those sports, and golf is one of those sports. So tennis, you, it is not, it's not like it's not permitted, but it is just, it is not courteous to yell and scream during a tennis match. You can yell and scream after the point is over, after the game is over, after the match is over. You can scream and cheer and whistle and everything, but you do not scream and yell and whistle during the point. You do not scream and whistle and, <clears throat> and yell during the serve. So once the tennis, once the um, tennis player goes up to the line to start to serve, the audience goes quiet. Everybody is quiet. And even in a Twin Falls high school or high school or college level, as soon as the tennis player goes up to serve the ball, it should be quiet. So no screaming, no yelling, no whistling. It's silent. And I've been in big, huge auditoriums and big, huge uh, tennis stadiums, and the whole stadium will be quiet. And you could hear a pin drop in the whole place. And if somebody screams or yells, the tennis player stops. They stop, their, they stop their serve and they wait. They wait till it's quiet. And then they start it again. And if somebody yells and screams again, the line judge will say, quiet please. Everybody needs to be quiet. So that is one of the ethics or the, what do you call it, courtesies in tennis. So here's a few more things in tennis that are just courteous. If you hit the ball, if you're playing a point, and you hit the ball and it hits the net, and but then goes over into their court, <coughs> and they can't get to it, it is courteous to say, sorry about that. Even though you get the point, because it hit the net and fell over in the point, in the court, <coughs> But you always say sorry and apologize. And uh, even though inside you're happy that you won the point and it was yours, you apologize to your opponent and say, I'm sorry that I hit the net and it just dribbled over. It, it's almost like it was unfair. I understand it was unfair. And so I'm saying I'm apologizing. Um, so that is one of the courteous things in tennis. Um, the other thing in tennis is, at least on a lower level, there aren't any line judges. So you call your own line. So if the ball touches the line at any point, it is in. If it is outside the line and does not touch the line at all, it is out. <coughs> and the opposing team, they are the ones that call in or out. So if I hit the ball to my opponent and it hits, you know, it goes over the net and lands, it is my opponent's job to call it in or out. Now, it would be easy to cheat on a lot of these because it is only their call. I can't tell that other player that ball was in 
I, I win the point. I don't get that. It's my opponent that calls those. So if it looks to me like my ball went in, the only thing I can do is ask, are you sure? Are you sure that ball was out? Are you sure? And I can ask maybe once or twice, but that is all I can do. And only a few times have I seen that overturned. The only time that I've seen when somebody says, are you sure, is if it's a doubles team and the other doubles partner goes, I think it was out. And then the opponents have to decide. One said it was in, one said it was out. So then they need to decide whether it was in or out. And that's, that's their prerogative. Now let's say we go into this match and I feel like the other team has called a lot of my shots out when they were actually hitting the line. I can go to a coach and ask for a line judge. Now a line judge will come in and stand on the side of the court, but he won't call the lines. The line judge sits there and just waits to be asked. So let's say I hit a ball over, I feel like it was in, they called it out. At that point, I would look to the line judge and say, line judge, was that in or out? And at that point, they can give their opinion and say, I feel like that was in. They can call it at that point. But it isn't that the line judge does not call every single line. All they do is it's a second opinion. And if somebody wants their second opinion on whether it was in or out, they can ask the line judge. So that's how that works. So a couple more things on etiquette about tennis. The crowd around and the parents around, they can cheer after a point is over, after a game is over, and all that stuff. Again, they, can, they are not supposed to cheer or scream or whistle during a point, even though it's very close and the ball's going back and forth. You should hold all your applause and screaming until the point is over. The other thing is, is that parents cannot give any coaching to the players while they're on the court and while the match is going on. So the parent can yell, good job, way to go, nice shot, all those encouraging words. That was great, you know, good angle, things like that. But as soon as somebody, as soon as a parent yells something like, hit it to their backhand, the left side is open, why don't you go up to the net? Or why don't you lob more? Or why don't you hit it to the corner? You cannot coach. None of the players outside the court, the parents outside the court, none of the spectators outside the court can coach any of the players. The only time that you can coach the players is have an official coach from the team go and talk to the players on the switchover. So when they are between games and they're changing sides, that's the only time when a coach can come over and talk to them. And at that point, they can coach and say, hey, you guys need to lob some more. Why don't you look at going down the line? You know the guy has a bad backhand, hit it to his backhand, or your serve needs to be served to his backhand, or whatever they wanna say, they can say it at that point, but not during the match. The coaches cannot coach during the match either. They can't go over to the fence and start talking to the player when it's not a crossover point. So there are very rigid ethical boundaries in tennis that you just don't see in any other sport. So when you go to watch a tennis match, you need to follow those procedures and the etiquette on the court or the coaches or somebody will come over and they will talk to you about it. So just keep those in mind the next time you go to a tennis match. And uh, thanks for watching my video. Please subscribe, watch some of my other videos. I'm doing one every day. Thanks for watching, bye.